Hey, I'm Thomas. I'm a front-end engineer at GitLab. I'm, I'm maintainer of the GitLab workflow, the VS Code extension that integrates GitLab with your editor. And I want to show you some a cool feature that I worked on for the last couple of weeks. The feature was to change the internal implementation of the extension to be centered around repositories instead of workspaces. Now, what does that mean? When you open a folder, like here I opened my main workspace folder, that's your workspace. That's what um, we worked with up until now. What, the, 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 what did that mean is that we looked into the workspace and we looked for Git repository there. If there wasn't any, the extension just didn't work. Now, for example, here, the workspace itself, the folder is not a Git repository, but it contains multiple Git repositories. But the older version of the extension, and I'll switch to the older version, the older version just didn't recognize it. It just said that the workspace folder is not a Git repository. The workaround uh, we authored up until now was to use multi-root workspaces. Multi-root multi workspaces is a concept of VS Code extension where you can open multiple folders and put them in one VS Code window. And only this way you uh, users were able up until now include multiple GitLab projects and multiple repositories to the extension. Now, we changed the implementation to be repository centric. We long ago realized that the uh, the VS Code has its own Git implementation, and for users, um, for the best user experience, it would be nice if the extension followed exactly this understanding of your Git repositories. And that's what we did in the last couple of weeks. What does that mean is that the VS Code itself recognizes that you opened the workspace folder, and the workspace folder has got this many repositories inside. I think you can change the level, the depth of searching for repositories, but the default seems to be one, or one level deep. Now, if you open the GitLab extension, it does recognize exactly the repositories that are GitLab projects and shows them to you. So that's the, um, that's the main benefit. We've uh, in introduced some really nice uh, little tweaks as well. If I open a new window, before you would, uh, I'll show you. I'll open a new window before without the latest features. This is version 3.17.1 of the extension. New window. And so there is no folder opened yet. And when you switch to the extension, it just tells you that it didn't find any project. It's not necessarily a uh, bad experience, but you don't know exactly why there are no projects. Now, if you replicate the same in the new version, the 320 version, you can see that it tells you there is no Git repository available. Open the source control tab to know more. And then when you open the source control, it will tell you there is no folder open and you need to open a Git folder. So it was one another tweak, but the main core feature is that whatever you see, if you see your GitLab project in the source control tab, now you will see it in the VS Code extension for GitLab as well. And side effect of that is that contributors and maintainers like myself will have much easier uh, mental model for the extension instead of having to have the concept of workspace, which is not always a Git repository. Now we center everything around Git repositories and makes the programming on the extension much nicer, which means you can contribute as well and your life is going to be easier. If you would like to contribute, you just go to the VS Code extension project, which is gitlab.com, gitlab-org, gitlab VS Code extension, and you Look for issues where we are accepting merge requests. There is plenty of those. If you find that the extension doesn't do something the way you would expect it, or you have a feature request, you just create a new issue here. And we are usually relatively quick to respond. Thanks for listening today. 
and I hope you enjoy working with the extension.